Good morning. It is I, Jeremy Parrish, and let's make sure this is all running up and right while the game loads. This is Cartography Stream 4, and uh, there is a fellow named Golgo Rider saying Ohio in the comments, so that's good. <coughs> oh, time to switch the disc over. Sorry, I'm not used to streaming this early on a weekend, but it's got to happen. It's got to happen so I can finish this Metroid map. Uh, Pedal Power Luigi says, How can you stream at whatever X time it is there? Hearing two voices, that's not good. So you should only be hearing one voice. I don't know how you would hear two. Anyway, um, I don't know what the technical errors are involved here, so I apologize if things are janky. <coughs> Alright, so to recap, this is Metroid, the original, and I am here hanging out in Brinstar. I gotta get back to later point points of the game. Um, so as you can see, I have, I think like 30 or, f no, uh, sorry, like 60 missiles max, two energy tanks, the Varia, the long beam, the high jump, the ice beam, bombs, the Marumari. I'm pretty well equipped with all the stuff I need to take on the end of the game except the screw attack, and of course more missiles and health, because I ain't crazy. Oh, so far away. I don't believe that I have the uh, missile, or the, yeah, the energy tank up there. Okay, great. So, I can respawn that dude from over here and use him as a platform. Because that's why God made bad guys to be platforms. So, with that, I have max health, and that's awesome. So, I think. I think I'm gonna, going to go down to Ridley's Lair first, and then pick up Crades on the way out. Uh, just because Crades sometimes can be a little trickier, in my opinion. Oh, you flew right into it, you fool. <sighs> I don't know, I'm not sure I have enough missiles to beat Crade yet. Uh, let's see, in the stream comments, someone says, this isn't a Gintendo, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, yes, but not here, and I have to go exercise after this. I am not going to exercise drunk. That is a bad idea. No, this is, uh, this is cartography. Cartography, because I'm playing cartridge games, except this is actually a diskette, and I'm making maps, because that's what cartography is. So far, the, uh, the little map there in the corner, uh, I realize is just sitting stagnant. That's actually showing Crade's Lair, and I need to switch that over to Norfair soon, but that'll be just a minute. I want to get past this endless shaft. So today is Metroid's 31st anniversary in the US. Uh, the game came out, crap, I don't remember, sometime in 1986, like December 86 or so, in Japan, maybe a little before that, October, I don't know. Anyway, 1986. But in America, it came out here in 1987. According to Nintendo's official records, August 6th, 1987. Oh wait, so that makes this the 30... Uh, 30th anniversary. Wow, I can't even count. Listen, it's really early in the morning here, okay? So bear with me. Alright, there's... Norfair. And I will switch this to the proper format. And let's see how that looks on the camera. 
it's a little, little off. There we go. Okay, great. I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of this camera thing. I might have to buy a new webcam if I'm going to be serious about cartography, because the uh, viewpoint on this is a little cramped. I might need like a wide-angle lens. I'm sure there's like a fisheye lens uh, webcam that I could buy someplace. But in the meantime, we'll have to make do. And if I pull it too far away from, if I pull the camera too far away from the paper, then you can't see the details. And then what's even the point? I guess I probably should have played through this part before the stream, but listen, it's only 9 a.m. here, so I'm allowed not to be thinking fully coherently yet. I love the bomb physics in this game. Uh, let's see. Someone pointed out the fact that I drew a map. Yes, that's that's kind of the point of the stream series, actually, is me drawing maps as I play the games. So I'm headed down to Norfair. It looks like there are a couple of spots on the map that I haven't explored. I think the screw, draw, screw jump is somewhere over here. I don't remember, actually, and I did not cheat and peek in advance. Oh, sorry about the load times. This is the family computer disk system version of the game. Uh, someone asked if I'm using a Hori joypad to alleviate the button mashing. No, I am using just an actual plain old Nintendo official OEM NES controller. They have the best, best mouth feel. Ugh, come on, dude. There we go. If you're wondering about the weird sound effects, that is because, like I said, I'm playing the family computer disk system version of this game, the Japanese release, which has kooky sound uh, samples and some slightly different music. And most importantly, it has a built-in save feature. Although, I don't like that the save feature in this version of the game sends you all the way back to the beginning of Brinstar when you continue. In the US version, passwords will save which area you're in, so I could have come immediately to Norfair had I played the American version, but I would have had to enter a password, and God knows if I could actually pull that off this early in the day. Alright, so I'm going to head down and check out that uh, blue wall below. Um, let's see. Also, if I had uh, gone immediately to Norfair, I would not have been able to get that energy tank at the beginning, which is going to be a huge boon for this playthrough because it means no energy farming until I screw up badly and lose a lot of life. I'm sure that'll happen. Oh, right in the face. Oh, what? I was standing next to your flower pot, buddy. Alright, so this is the blue wall that I could not get past before, and I don't remember why, but I could not. If this is a permanent, like, okay, no, no, there's more to it, okay, great. Oh, right, that's why, because of that scenario. I needed the ice beam, that was the secret. Okay, so now we can get back to making maps. So this is a room, and up ahead is some sort of cool thing. I don't know what it's going to be. Probably missiles. Indeed, missiles. So I need to mark that in uh, green. That's very exciting. I've accomplished something. Hooray for me. Oh, it's another one of these multi-missile scenarios. Hooray.
And that's probably a dead end over here. Indeed it is. Okay, so we've whoops, we've got that space locked down. And my pages won't stay down. That's cool. I actually have a uh, better graph paper tablet that is set to arrive today when I was just doing mapping for fun on my own time. Uh, it was totally fine to have this booklet, but that is not going to do the trick for these streams. I need something that's going to be larger and more open. So that's phase one of improving life for cartography. Phase two will be, I guess, getting a better webcam. If someone has a recommendation on a wide-angle webcam that isn't going to break my bank, that would be cool. I would be open to suggestions. Uh, someone said, is that a drafting table? No, it's called a desk. It is my bookshelf slash combo built-in desk shelving unit where I keep my game systems and do my streaming and my computing. It is a multifunction space that is white. Look at that. Like the Jay Giles band, just freeze frame everybody. Oh, come on. You're messing up my shot ratio, fool. What? Oh. I was doing so well there for a moment. Alright, so now I guess I head back down to where the high jump was. Bombing the Telltale quad bubble tile thing. Uh, whoa. And away we go. See, the seahorses are here. Although, I guess they're not really seahorses if they live in lava. Alright, so just to orient ourselves, I'm right here. There's high jump boots, except I already have them, so they're not actually there. And there is some kind of space over beyond here. What lies ahead? I believe, like I said, that the screw attack is hidden down this way, but I could be wrong. I often am. It's a state of existence for me. Alright, so one room. Let's see. Okay, great. So two... Oh, tiny bubbles in my champagne. I made that joke last time I streamed Metroid. Sorry about that. So three screens and a blue door. Let's get over there before that shoots me. Okay, ooh. A mysterious looking access way. So it's two, three doors. Oops, I need a blue marker. Uh, someone said you have a good microphone for us not to hear the gears of the FDS. No, it's just the FDS is kind of far away from where I'm sitting. There's space. Alright. So, there's a door and there's a door. Alright. We may now advance. This is actually not a loading screen despite speculation in the comments. You will know the loading screens when you hear them, because the game basically comes to a, s a stop. Oh, let me over. So, two screens. I feel like the count when I play this. Three, oh, and a door. And no bad guys are here, so I can draw safely. One, two, three. I need to bomb to see if there are secrets and stuff here before I start dropping down. Uh, let's see. 
Someone says, what happens if you run out of color markers? I am not going to run out of color markers. This is a very basic game. Okay, this screen does scroll vertically, so I need to figure out where the secret is. Aha! It's where the fairy don't live. Jump! Jump! There we go. Nice. Alright, so that means there's a door here. Am I off? Oh, I'm off the, the map. Sorry about that. Let's scoot my camera over. I'm kind of running out of space here. This desk was not configured with live stream mapping in mind, and I apologize for that. And it looks like my camera got turned a little bit. It seems to be a little out of focus, too. Come on, dude. Wake up. Alright, so I think that is as far up as I can go here. Is that correct? I would think so. Yes. Okay. So we'll draw that across the top. Ooh, this seems promising. Is this the screw attack? It might be, baby. Two screens. And three. Oh, heck yeah. Alright. We got ourselves a screw attack. Uh, let's see, that was three screens. A red door. Am I off the map again? No, I'm not. Okay, good. And... little green dot here. Okay, let's see if there's anything hidden over this way. I'm pretty sure this is mostly a dead end, but you never know. In the world of Metroid... Eh, that's a dead end. Oh. So I can draw that closed, and I can make a note that that's the screw attack. And a tiny ultra-fine point pen. All right. Ah, coffee. Precious coffee. Okay, let's make use of this here screw attack thing, although this room is not really a good place to do it. Oh, pfft. Yes, my first screw attack jump, and I biff it. Alright, so I have the most important thing here, but I'm going to continue exploring because that is what one does when one is mapping. I don't think I can go down here. Oh, what? Goodness gracious, my god. Alright, so let me make a note here that there is a bomb spot and a bomb spot. But before I go down, I will go over. We'll see what happens. I'm really not happy about how the... Whoa, the camera's a little fuzzy looking. This is all getting very precarious, I apologize. Whoa, this is not a stable setup. All right, that should do it. Whoa, am I getting shot? Yikes. Boy, that was, uh, that was bad. Maybe I should pay attention in the future. Alright, fortunately those guys tend to drop 20 health points. So, one screen over, two, three, ah, oh, take that, and four. Maybe I should not have written screw attack there. That could have been a bad idea. Alright, so... One, two, three, four... No, I don't think I can go up. Alright. Ah, 
Okay, is my am I still on? Yeah, I'm still on there. Great. And down we go. Oops. It's one screen down, but wait! It's fake lava. The mainstream lava. But we will continue traveling across whenever possible instead of down just because it's easier that way. So let's see what happens. A guy hits me as I come through the door. That's cool. Thanks a lot, jackass. Kill you and your friend. So, that's two screens. Three. Four. And a door. Oh hey, I recognize this area. That's the place right above. Well, at least my mapping is accurate. Dang it. Okay, in the future I really need to rethink the way I have this mapping situation set up. It is kind of a disaster right now. We've got a door, and a door. Hmm. Another path down, but is this one a dead end? It is. Okay. So that, I can draw a line underneath. Good deal. Not again! That's so, that's so cheap! Why do they do that? It's almost like video games were a young medium, and no one really knew the secrets and standards of good design at the time. Or something. Oh, Alright, so here we are with a bunch of gumdrops. So, that's one screen. Two. Oh. Three. Four. Five. Six. And... What magic have we here? Alright. So let's see, that was... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, did I make a mistake by writing high jump there? I'm a foolish fool. still on the screen? I can't tell. I'm kind of starting to run out of space. Alright, so that was one full screen of that crap. Two. Three. And four. So, one, two, three... This is all very snugly designed. I should have known. And there's a door here. That is clearly a place I can bomb, but will I accomplish anything by bombing? Let's find out. And the answer is no. Alright, off we go, doubling back. So, I've been streaming for almost half an hour now. If you're just joining in, uh, I'm sorry, this is probably all very confusing for you. My name is Jeremy Parrish. I'm the guy, one of the guys at Retronauts. And I am celebrating Metroid's 30th, 31st anniversary, whatever the hell, by playing the original game on Famicom, Famicom.
Capcom disc system and mapping it as I go, because that is how God intended for this game to be played. He said, map that puppy. So that's what I'm doing. And that, that right there is some unfair design. But I think there's something good up here. Yes! The goodest. Which I will definitely need. Suck it, buddies. Alright, so three screens over. There's a cool... Oh, pfft! E-Tank. Not to be mistaken for Mega Man's E-Tank. Alright, so... That was one, two, three... And... A green blob. And I think... I think it's probably safe to write E-Tank underneath that. I don't think there's going to be anything happening in this space, so... E... Tank... High jump... Okay, so... We've just about got Norfair completely mapped. Norfair is definitely the most complex of the zones in terms of layout and things to acquire. It's where most of the goodies in the game are located. Craid or Ridley and Crazelers are much easier. Craid's a little complicated, but Ridley is basically just go find Ridley and kill the Space Lizard, which I can do. Oh, that was bad. Oh, pfft. Nice. Ah. There we go. Well done, Samus. You're a Great space pirate after all. Space bounty hunter, sorry. You know, these people are very stingy with their missile drops. I don't understand what's going on. I'm not getting a lot of missile drops. And I realize I am using some missiles to kill stuff, but not that many. See, look at that. Where's my missiles? Where are my missiles at? gonna keep blowing them up, up until I max out. No game of Metroid is complete without farming guys from flower, flower pods. Oops. Okay, maybe that's probably not the best tactic. And I'm... Oop. What? That's some straight-up nonsense, buddy. There we go. Why will I not get missiles from you guys? What is going on? That's more like it. So I have... Four of the max six health tanks, E tanks. And I think each of the bosses gives me, like, there's a, a, a health tank hidden in each of the bosses' lairs. So I just basically need to kill the bosses at this point. Because they will each give me, I think, a bonus of 75 missiles expanding, expansion. Uh, so let's see, I'm here right now. That is not someplace I can go down. Uh, so I promised that I would play through the entirety of this game uh, in a single stream. I might have to break the screen into some subsections uh, so I can, you know, like, go get a glass of water or something at some point. But I will try my darndest. This is my, my project for today. This and... Oh, prepping for the Retronauts stream, or not stream, the Retronauts live panel next week at Long Island Retro Expo. I don't know if anyone's going to be at that event, but Bob and I will be there with Kurt and Xerxes from Hardcore Gaming 101 and the Game Club 1990X podcast. We're going to be talking about 
Dragon Slayer, the Dragon Slayer series. We're also going to record some episodes outside the live panel. I don't know why I brought out my blue marker for that. I did not need to do that. Yeah, we're going to talk about some stuff. It's going to be cool. Uh, so there is a door here. And this is that fakey lava crap that I can possibly bomb through, but I think this is a dead end down below. Yes. All right, so draw a little line there. Dan fight will be in New York, but not Long Island. What a shame. We would love to get you on an episode sometime, Dan Fight, because you're cool. Also, one of the episodes we're going to be talking about after hours is King of Fighters, which you could probably help us with. So it's an unfortunate missed opportunity. All right, so one, two screens over. Three. I'm going to go ahead and call this one three screens, and it's another one of these things. I don't know, this is probably actually four screens. We're just going to say this all lines up, shall we? Who can stop me? No one. I'm drunk with power, but not with gin. It's too early for that. And there's another shaft going down. Tricky. Oops. I... no, that's right. Okay. Aw. Messages of support for Dan in the comments. That's great. I like you guys. You're much different than uh, the usual stream commenters that I'm used to seeing on the internet who are like, send me nudes or whatever. Actually, that's probably an inappropriate thing to say right now. Alright, one screen. Oh, this part. This frickin' part. Two screens. And three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, there's a little guy down there shooting at me. He's like, what's up, Samus? I don't... I think I can go down there, actually. Can't I? I believe so. We're gonna find out what happens. Jigoku Sensei Nube. I, I don't even know what that is. Hell Teacher... Jube? Sure. Fine. There we go. Oh. Pff. Suck it, buddy. Alright, so, on to the new screen. I feel like this is just kind of a dead end. Two screens over. Oh, but. Man, what is this nonsense? Oh crap, I shouldn't have written E-Tank there. Oh, I blew it! I got too clever. I was hoist by my own petard. Oh! This just keeps going. This is the part of Metroid where you're like, I feel lost and scared. And I didn't count how many screens this was. So I feel even more lost and scared. What's really lost and scary is getting down into one of these little uh, bubble shafts here and getting stuck in the lava without the high jump boots. That is the worst. Samus, just shoot one beam at a time. Thank you. And more missiles. Why not? 
Why not more missiles? Alright, so I did not do a good job of mapping this. Uh, so I guess I need to count my way back. Alright, so that's one screen, and that end screen has a missile on it. One... Two... Crap, where's my anchor point, my reference point? Alright. Three... No! Oh! You're messing up my mojo, buddies. You're not actually my buddies. What was that? That was three screens? Alright. So... <laughs> Samus, jump higher! Not like that. Oh. So now that's like five screens... Okay, so there were three, four, okay. So basically that takes me all the way into this little niche. And we're going to say the wall screen is here. And across. Great. All right, so I'm going to mark this as inactive space so that I can tell what the hell is happening here. Okay. So it looks like I am still mapping correctly more or less. You guys can still see it. The stream has not collapsed or imploded in on itself. Somehow 50 people are awake on a Sunday morning and are like, yes, I would like to see a guy drowsily map an old video game very slowly and meticulously. The internet is a wonder. There's something for everyone. Alright, let's see what happens if I go down to visit Dragon Boy. Oh! Dragon's gone! Nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fake dragon. Fake lava. Everything's fake. Not Samus, though. Samus is real. Okay. So, that goes down. And there is a door. And it seems like the camera is getting kind of skewed at an angle. That's weird. I wonder why that is. Let's see if that helps. Alright. That was actually the opposite of helpful. Cool, cool, cool. So, here is another room with something in it. Is this the wave beam? I don't want the wave beam. The wave beam is handy and powerful, but also a pain in the ass. Yeah, we're going to skip that guy. I don't need that nonsense. I need my precious ice beam. Whoa, there's another shaft over here. And I can't do anything there. Alright, so... That means we've got... Basically... That. And that... And I'm going to right wave beam underneath. Because why the heck not? I'm rapidly running out of space on this page. Okay, so it looks like I just have one last little bit of uh, Norfair to explore, and then we can move along to Ridley's Lair, but. My goodness, there was a lot happening here. This area of the game is complicated as heck. There we go. There's my little dragon buddy. 
Yeah, that's right. Screw attack is such a great idea for a weapon. Just weaponize your whole damn body. It's so Fist of the North Star. Okay, nothing heading up that way. Yeah. So, we can mark that as a hard barrier. Like Samus is uh, physics when she's in ball form. She just kind of bounces around like a real ball. Oh, I made another mistake. Look at that. <sighs> it says wave beam there. We need to explore. Oh, you can't even see that because it's off camera. Damn it. I can't actually really scroll up any further. My whole contraption is going to fall apart. But fortunately, this is as far down as this map goes, I believe. So... That's good. Oh, it's one screen over. And a missile! Two screens over. And that's right, another missile. And that, my friends, wraps it up for Norfair. You know what? I'm going to cheat just a little bit and make this come down a little further. One, two, three. Just because I don't want to interfere with that wave beam. It's not accurate, but you know what? you got to start somewhere. All right, so missile and missile. Oops, that's supposed to be green. Whatevs. There we go. And I can mark off this right there. And that's it. That is Norfair. So now I need to head over to Ridley's Lair. And the entrance to that is very close, but it's very far away. All right. Journeying onward and backward. I guess more backward than onward. You're supposed to explode! What is going on? There we go. Now, one thing I will not be doing during any of these streams is attempting to map the uh, hidden worlds, quote-unquote, because those aren't a real thing, and that's just a way to end the game. So I won't be doing that. Ooh, got some slowdown going on. You kids in your emulators don't know what it's like plan original hardware and have everything suddenly slow down as though it were in suspended animation. Okay, so up and once I go up then... Oh! oh. We'll head to the right, I believe. Wait, where am I supposed to go? That was tricky. Okay, so, let's see. I've come... Where the hell am I? 
right here. Okay, that's supposed to be marked like that. And... Mm, I'm very confused by my map. Okay, I go up one more screen. This area is so nutrient-dense. Now I just head all the way over to the right. Just keep on going. I like how when Samus takes damage in this version of the game, it kind of sounds like she's saying, Don't! Nope. Still gotta go to the right. Oh. oh, come on now. Lava. In this day and age. Oh, and let's see, Nasty Bun says, or no, so, Rionin says he'd like to get one of those fancy AVS things. I recommend the AVS. It's uh, not quite as awesome as the Analog NT Mini, but it's a lot more affordable, so if all you want is just to play NES games in HD, and you want to play, you know, more games than Nintendo provides on the NES Classic Edition, then the way to do it is definitely to get an AVS. And it has an option to re uh, reduce sprite flicker per line. I don't think it can s reduce slowdown, I can't remember, but you can double the number of sprites that show up in a line. So for games like Shooters or Ninja Turtles or something, it's a huge help. It makes things look less uh, distracting. All right, and here we go. New page, new adventures. So this is going to be Ridley's Lair. How have I drawn, sorry, how have I drawn maps or elevators in the past? Like that, okay, great. Get this nice and centered beneath the camera. And I'm trying to remember exactly where you begin in Ridley's Lair. I can't remember if there's stuff that goes up to the sides. So I'm just going to assume I start pretty much in the middle. Oh right, that needs to be an arrow pointing up. To Norfair. Edward Norfair. So we have screens go our doors going in both directions. <sighs> I can't remember the way. Let's start by going right, shall we? That was my nephew's recommendation. He said yesterday, whenever you're trapped in a maze, always go right because right is always right. And you know, I just can't argue with that kind of logic. So, that is one screen. Two. Three. And four. Oh, Samus, what did you do? 
Whoa, Samus! Such a slippery young lady. Alright, I need to pause here because I cannot just shoot those dudes. Or stand here because those dudes will keep flying into me. That's what I mean. So I said that was four screens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see what's up. Nothing's up. What's up with you? Not even a dog up there. Alright, so... Down it is. It's one screen down. Oh, I just walked right into it. Two screens down. There's a door here at the second screen down. One, two, but I'm going to keep going down because why not? Why the heck not? It's another screen down. One, two, and here on the second screen there is also a door. So many doors! It's like the price is right. I'm going to run out of space on this, the camera pretty soon. That is as far down as we go. So that was just one screen, huh? Yep. Okay. So we found the bottom. And we'll take this door. Man, Ridley has a really depressing home. I just need to put that out there. See, that was, what, two screens? This is the third. Fourth. This is very confusing. I think we're like five screens over now. Seven. It just keeps going. I've totally lost count of how many screens this was. I'm gonna give it a good guess though. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Cheap! Ridley, you're a monster. Wow, I have completely lost count of where I am. It's just too too much happening here. And no easy landmarks. But it's like it's gotta be like eleven screens now. Oh, I've maxed out my missiles. Well done, guys. Good God. <sighs> I 
Oh, that's so cheap. Okay, so I traveled a long, long way. Man, I don't even know. Um, it was at least 10 screens. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, I can't do anything here anyway, so back we go. I guess I could wall jump, but that's for suckers. Also, the wall jump in this game, not as elegant as in future games. Since you're not actually jumping on walls, you're getting stuck in the wall. Alright, so I am going to make a better count of it this time. I'm also going to try to hit this guy at some point. There we go. So that ledge right there is one, two, god dang it, you're all assholes. You guys suck. See, I lost count again, so that's, say, four. You guys really suck. And I agree, that is a very unlucky uh, space of the game. Yow. Okay, so let's see, I put that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, my camera arrangement is... Not elegant here. Alright, so let's never go down that part of the bottom again, shall we? And we'll try the next door up. You know, I have beaten this game without using the, uh, without collecting the Varia, but I don't think that is something I would ever want to do again. This part is so brutal. Alright. One screen. Two. Three. Five. 
six. And seven. Come on, die already. Okay, that was much nicer. Actually, it came out ahead of that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's another thing that just goes up and up. I question some of Ridley's architectural choices. This seems promising. This is, has the look of a place where you get an item. still on the screen. Good deal. Someone says this game is sticky. What does that mean exactly? Oh, hey, look at that. It's the bad guy. So this version of Ridley is actually a lot more difficult than the American version. because his missile, or his uh, fireballs, actually track you. Whoa. Look at that. They're changing course. Stupid lizard. You're not supposed to be able to do that. That's cheating. Okay, you get on out of the way. This doesn't seem to be working very well. Ugh. So that's what it means by sticky. Oh, bad news. Oh, that was a really, really poor choice. Questionable life choices happening here. Ugh. Ugh, come on. Now it's just you and me, buddy. Yeah! Alright. That's one giant lizard thing down. Okay. I'm gonna make a big ol' Ridley drawing here. Wow! Look at that! Scary, the whole thing's red. And somewhere around here, there is an E-tank. Fancy purple door. Whoa! Hey, that's not cool. Oh, I thought the E-Tank was right there. Dang it. There we go. Goodbye. So we're going to go ahead and uh, ignore the fact that my proportions are a little off here. Draw an E-tank right there. With a door here. Okay, good times.
All right, so Ridley or Cr yeah, Ridley. That's the guy's name, Ridley. He's down. I gotta go fight Kraid. But I feel like I should map more of Ridley's Lear. Although, I guess technically, I didn't sign up for that. My contract does not require me to do that. So, anyway, if you are watching this stream for some strange reason, hello, I continue to be Jeremy Parrish, and I continue to play Metroid, the original Metroid, which turns 30 years old today, or 31, something like that. Old video game release dates are a little vague and fuzzy. Um, but I'm trying to map the game as I go along. You have just witnessed me defeating uh, Ridley. Ridley, the jumping space goon thing. And uh, I very efficiently worked my way through his lair. And I feel like I'm kind of obligated to map it, but I also kind of feel like I don't want to bother. So, you know, I think I'm just going to go on and fight Kraid, see what happens. And then try for the Mother Brain. See if I can finish this game before the hour is up. Probably not. But also, there's only so much of this music I can take. It just keeps so oppressive. see, was that the exit? I lost track. I was so excited about killing stuff. I don't think that was the way to the exit. I think this is. Yes. Okay. So I'll draw the top there. And we're good. Oh. All right. Get me out of here. In the words of the Bob. Let's switch back to the Norfair map so I can get the heck out of there efficient. Whoa! Sorry about that. Yikes. That was slightly disastrous. Alright. This page wants to flip up. Pardon my loading time. So much loading time. Okay. Up we go into the wild blue yonder. So you can't even see where I am right now. I'm right here, but it's not showing on the map. That's very unfortunate. And... I'm going to go up and over. Okay. And then I take this way, way up. I've got to pass one door once I bomb my way up through the ceiling. Okay. 
Alright. So that's the ceiling. The ceiling is the roof. Alright, that's the... F oh, that's the door I need. Okay, great. So I'm here, headed back to Brinstar. This area always makes me think of the song Little Fluffy Clouds. If only LeVar Burton were here to narrate for us. <clears throat> okay, up another shaft. Um, someone whose name I, appear, I, I f apologize, I can't pronounce it. I don't know the proper pronunciation for the accent marks. Says, hey Jeremy, any plans to record something on Breath of the Wild? Recall you had a mailbag on that a couple of months back. We recorded that episode a couple of months ago, but the thing is, we haven't posted it yet, because we post, we uh, record sometimes months in advance, and it'll be a while before that one goes live, because I, I want to focus on some Super NES-related episodes of Retronauts right now, the podcast. Um, because, you know, the Super NES Mini is coming out, and that's a good opportunity for us to be relevant, even though we're talking about very old games. But please be patient, and I promise your patience will be rewarded with a podcast about Breath of the Wild. Anyway, I see that someone named Metroid has just joined the chat. I feel honored by having the actual game that I'm playing show up. I hope you feel I'm doing justice to you, sir or ma'am. Oh. So I've switched the map page over to Crade's Lair. Uh, which of course is not where I am now, but I know my way through Brinstar pretty easily, so I don't need to uh, switch over to that page for now. And we can get ready. But the, the angle is off. It continues to be off. Is that going to help? Yes. Okay, there we go. Like I've said before, I really apologize for the sort of makeshift nature of these streams, the fact that I can't scoot the game picture over to keep the picture-in-picture picture from obscuring portions of the action, for the mediocre lighting, for the slightly poor camera focus. Like, no one ever does uh, streams like this. I'm exploring a brave frontier, which is nice and all, but uh, there, there are definitely kinks to be ironed out. And like I said, I will be working on those, since I do enjoy doing these streams, and it seems like people don't hate me for making them. So please bear with me, and I promise these will get better as we go along. I realize this part of the game is not, or this part of the stream is not very much, uh, in sort of the promised wheelhouse, because I've already mapped this zone, but we're about to get into some thick and dirty combat areas. Just you wait. Alright, here we go. I was doing so well for a second. Okay, here we go. Back down to Creed. Going down to Creed Town. It's more loading time. Because who doesn't love that? <sighs> I 
keep on going. There we go. That's right. Video games. The payoff for the, the loading time is that the music is so good. Listen to that music. It's so good. Oh, look, I've already opened up that door. Let's see what happens in here. Probably I get blown up. Yes, that's right. <laughs> you giant assholes. Alright, let's try this instead. Oh, you suck it. There are parts of this game that definitely need some design refinement. So, let's see. Gotta orient myself for the screen counting. That's one, two... Three... and a door. One, two, three, door. It almost sounds like I'm counting, but I'm not. And another shaft. What a surprise! A shaft in a Metroid game? Who would have thought it? Oh, my pin dried out a little bit. That's not good. Gotta put the little missile in the middle. Everyone's favorite sitcom, missile in the middle. Alright. And I see that now that we're back in the actual process of mapping the game, the screen, the uh, stream viewership is dropping. Ain't that just the way? Alright, so the blue zone is the beginning of this area. So two, one screen up, two, and there's a door at two. There's a door at three. Oops. Yeah. And a door at four. My god. So many doors. Okay. So. One, two, three, four. No door there. But many doors up above. And let's just go in the top one and see what happens. Can you, oh, that's kind of scooting off the camera. There we go. Much better. Oh, that's a lot easier this time. If you guys happen to see the first stream I did while trying to map, uh, these situations with the rippers or or whatever the hell those things are called. It was a giant pain in the butt. Alright. So, two screens. And a door, too. And another shaft, because that's what this game is all about. Vertical spaces. Such verticality. That looks like as far as up as we're going. Okay, no secrets there. I really like this space in Zero Mission, because in this game it's kind of pointless, but in Zero Mission they added, like, that puzzle with the conveyor belt thing. There's all kinds of interesting little secrets. Alright, so... How far down can we go? We go to here. I'm not sure I'm 100% oriented correctly. Ugh. Okay, so that does take us back to the shaft. Alright. How exciting! Which means...
means that that under here is not actually a valid play space, so I'm going to mark it off that way. And let's do the final door, just for grins. Anything happening here? Nope. This area is completely pointless. It's just a bunch of dead end doors. Oh. Pff. Oh. Oh, so many sad things happening. My god. All right. Well, I've done that little nook. And what good was it? None whatsoever. Alright, so let's see, this is getting back to where we came in. Thank you for dying. Alright, I believe that was where we started, yes. This, this right here. Mm -hmm. So we can go down from here and see what's happening. Oh, nothing. I don't think any of these spaces are bombable. That's kind of the Norfair gimmick. So, that was a giant waste of time. Thank you for watching. Come on, there we go. What? Where's all my power-ups and pickups and stuff? Jeez, stingy. You shouldn't be too stingy, as the, f the saying goes. All right, we'll go over here to the second missile door. Ugh! Oh, you ass! Screw you all! Oh, oh, my god. Okay, so that's one screen over, and then a blue wall. Oh, hello. I wonder if I should save that for later. You know, oops, since there is a an E-Tank in Crade's Lair, I think I'm going to skip this one, just in case something terrible happens and I have to bail on the game. That way I can come down here and fill up my health without having to uh, farm for energy. Yes. That seems like a great plan. Although, actually, it's going to be kind of hard to... Oh! Oh, come on, Samus. Go, 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 go! Come on, kiddo. Is that it? Nothing over here? Okay. great. Alright, I'm going to close that down. Yeah! That's right, buddy. You thought you got me, but you didn't. Oh. oh. Such... such a disaster. Alright. Down on to the next red door.
Don't. No. Oh, no! <sighs> that was embarrassing. Oh, sh <laughs> Good times. Okay, I don't seem to be doing anything there, so... I've already mapped this space. I'm gonna head back up. You stupid bastards. There we go. Okay. Success at last. I might actually need that uh, health pickup. I'm kind of taking a beating here, and there aren't any of those beach ball guys to refill with. Oh, how many screens was this? Crap. I wasn't even counting. Ah, oh, I have to go back. When mapping a video game, it's important to actually map. Alright, so that's one. And four. So, that's... I think I'm actually a little further over than I was before. One, two, three, four, yeah. Ha uh ha. -huh. How mysterious. That's the top. Very exciting. Oh no, not this part. This part's the worst. Oh my god. Alright, so there's that. Is that one screen or two? I can't remember how many I fell. Okay, so when I come in here... That guy... Oh, oh! Okay, so that's one screen down. Oh, you bastards. Pestilent jerks. Okay, so that does not connect all the way through, so that is one screen down. I'm at Missile Max again. That'll be good for fighting Kraid. Okay, so... Let's see, that screen, or that map thing there. Yes, that... And we are running out of space again. Okay. Better. <sighs> okay, so. Down we go. <laughs> How am I supposed to be able to count that? You creeps. Alright. I am just going to say that was three screens that I dropped. Yeah. Why the heck not? So there's that door, and that is the bottom. Up we go. 
boy. Crit really liked this uh, particular structure in his lair, huh? Okay, now that I have max missiles, everyone's giving me missiles. This game needs some help with its random number generator. So that's two screens over, and this seems promising. I'm gonna pause, if you don't mind. That's the wrong pen. Gromit. One, two, and... Oops. I'm going to put two little red dots here. Because why the hell not? Alright. So I think this is Craid's Lair. And we're going to see what happens when I go fight Craid. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, thank God for missile spam. Green red with a very special K. And of course, there is an energy tank in here because that is the most important thing in the world. Oh, come on, jump! There we go. <laughs> what the hell was that? It's gonna be so cool if I beat Kraid and then lose to dying, die trying to get the energy tank. My words, not so good today. There we go. All right. Well, I could crap map out the rest of this lair, but I could also just go fight Mother Brain, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So, off we go. Back up north. Oh, you freaks. God dang. Oh. Oh, but I have to get out of here. This is the worst. What jerk designed this part of the game? I would like to talk to them maybe hit them slightly in the face. Gently. As a friend. Just a love tap. Whew. Okay. Well, that was nice. Well done, me. So wait, what, what does that lead to? I feel like maybe it comes around or something? I don't think I mapped this very well, but you know... I'm not getting paid for this, so who cares? And that... is the rule of capitalism. So we'll try our best to beat Mother Brain, and when I say we, I mean me, because for some reason I'm speaking in a royal we. I don't know what that's all about. But I do make no promises, because this is a difficult game. Come 
Come on over. Float your way over here, little chocolate friend. Doesn't that guy look like he's made of chocolate? I bet he's delicious. Yeah, I don't actually care about this room. Get me out of here. I will go back someday and map this, but this just isn't the day. So, I've been streaming for, my goodness, an hour and a half and then some. Um, if you are just tuning in, hello, it's still me, Jeremy Parrish. And you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll go to a different page. Why not? Uh, I am still playing Metroid, still trying to map the entirety of the game here on the game's anniversary, and I am about to head to Torian, the final zone. And I'm going to try to complete that, even though it's actually very difficult. And I have no idea how I'm going to map the exit shaft, while also, um, you know, getting through the exit shaft in the time limit. So I might just kind of skip that part and make something up. Assuming I even make it that far. There's no guarantee that I will beat Mother Brain. And her accursed Zebatites and Rinkas. Uh, but if you are watching, uh, I think I mentioned my name and what I'm doing. The fact that this is a Retronauts stream. Uh, the Retronauts podcast, which is cool and good and you should watch it, listen to it, whatever the hell. This is my stream series, Cartography, where I play old video games and map them. I haven't been doing this very long, so it's a little, still a little rough, but I'm working on it. And uh, I realize this episode is kind of a lie because I'm playing off the Famicom Disk System version of Metroid as opposed to the cartridge, so it's more like discography, but that doesn't, that joke doesn't work, so... Alright, so now I just need to go up this stupid shaft one last time. Up we go. It goes a lot faster when you have the screw attack, though, and the high jump. It's so tentative the first time you climb, and here you are. Oops, zipping your way up blowing up everything you come into contact with. Hopefully I can max out my missiles again before I go to the Mother Brain's lair, because I need a bunch of missiles there. Save states are also good, but I can't do that on the disk system. So we're going to take it raw. If I don't survive the battle, that's just too darn bad. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And... That's the magic I've been looking for. Dead lizards. And the elevator things that love them. Okay, so... I don't remember exactly where I come in in Norfair, or Torian, sorry. So, we're just gonna start arbitrarily right there. I know it kind of goes back and forth. Uh, someone wants me to map Mylon's secret castle. You're a bad person and you should feel bad. That's, uh, that's just my professional opinion.
Oh, listen to that creepy sound that is almost music, but not quite. Alright, so... I think I'm going to mark each Metroid as I encounter it here. There's a Metroid right there. One, two, three, four, five. Listen to that crazy sound effect they make. That's new. I don't need health. Uh, so let's see, that was... Screen one... I would like for them to give me some missiles. Because they run out pretty quickly. Doot, doot, doot. So many Metroids! So many missiles that I have used. Good god. I need a new marker color for that. Ten missiles. This game is very, very missile thirsty. Alright, that can be the orange marker. So, one, two, down. Use a super bomb on the door, you fool! I can't do that, this is the wrong Metroid. I have to use the crystal flash. Alright, so here we go into the next area. Oh, with these little bastards who sap my health and give me nothing in return. So we're on screen three. There we go, some missiles. Alright, so that was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There's two Metroids on screen three and one here on four. Sorry, I meant two here on four. Oh, that was really stupid. Wow. That'd be a great way to die in this game. So, two more. No, don't do it! Oh, okay. Alright, pardon me while I pause, because those guys just keep spawning. Hey, you guys! That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Dope. I seem to be kind of stuck. These little respawning bastards. Come on over. There we go. Two screens. Two screens, two Metroids. Mm -hmm. 
I don't like that one. Three screens. Ugh. Man. Oh no! Oh no! Ugh. It's all gone pear shaped. Oh, well, it was a good run while it lasted. <sighs> Man, that was just the worst. I don't think I'm going to make it. At least my missile count is good. That was close. Alright, we're doing okay now. My health is creeping back up. I kind of lost count of what I'm doing here. Okay. I forgot how tense this part of the game is. Man. What? Just, that's it? Just a blue door? That seems kind of anticlimactic. <sighs> All right. I lost track of how many Metroids were in there, and I kind of don't care. Actually, that might have been the wrong thing to draw there. We'll find out. I'm just going to say that was like six Metroids. It's probably more like seven or eight. I'll split the difference. It's seven. What's going to happen if I'm wrong? Is someone going to sue me? I don't think so. Oh, I messed up. My map. So that's second zibitite. Ugh. No, don't grow back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off, but we'll find out. Oh, that was lame. Oh. No, not that! Anything but that! Okay. Her pulse is pounding. 
as is mine. as fast as you can, little Samus. Freeze, and freeze. Uh, that didn't work out. Oh, this seems promising. Okay. Well, you know, I didn't keep track of how many, um, how many screens that was, but I'm gonna go back and fix that up later. <sighs> okay, so... That was actually something I will have to correct. Um, there's like a bunch of these things. There we go. And then Mother Brain, and the door to the exit, and the door to the exit just goes on forever. That is accuracy and video game mapping, right there. Alright, wish me luck. This part is always a pain in the ass. Once you get the rhythm down, it's okay. Whoa, that is a really annoying sound effect. That's the power of the Famicom Disk System. Uh, hopefully someone at home is counting how many screens this is, because I am not. Oh, did I do it? I did it. Hooray! Plenty of time to spare, in fact. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to say that this goes all the way up here, even with the elevator shaft entrance. That is really anticlimactic. Really? Loading screen? Okay, well, I did it. I beat this video game. Oh, my map. Sorry, my uh, my map was off the camera for much of this. I apologize for that. <laughs> All right, let's see what what awaits me on the A side. I bet I'm not going to get the good ending. It's just a hunch. Let's go ahead and label this map while I'm here. This is Torian. Okay, let's pray for a lasting peace in space. Oh, pray for a true peace in space. Yep, that's right, Metroid Save the Galaxy. Alright, let's see which ending this is. Is she gonna turn her back on me in disgrace? Oh! She shows her bushy 80s hair. Look at that mop of fluffy 80s anime hair. Wow, this music sounds totally different than the NES version. Time for the credits to roll, and I can call it a day. Scenario written by Kano. Character designed by Kiyotake. That's the same guy who designed Wario. But Mar uh, Wario and Samus have nothing in common except that they like yellow. Music by Hip Tanaka. Some of the credits in here are actually for restaurants. Uh, let's see, I think Sumi and Kacho, and I think maybe Inusawa, or uh, maybe it's Goyake, I don't know. There's a couple of places in here that, uh, they're not people who worked on the game, they're, oh, Benke is one, restaurants that the team like to eat at. It's one of my favorite bits of trivia about Metroid. Wow, this music is crazy. It sounds nothing at all. Huh. 
Okay, well, anyway, thank you everyone who watched this uh, Metroid Anniversary live stream mapping series. I'm glad that you had the patience to watch me bumble my way through somewhat inaccurately. But it was good times. I'll go back and um, finish up some of the areas of the map that I didn't complete. So here we have Torian. Let's get that centered. Yes, okay. And this is part of, oops, there we go, Ridley's Lair. That is definitely incomplete. A very thorough map of Norfair. It's actually too big to fit on the camera. My goodness, that's a lot of, a lot of mapping there. Um, I guess I'll once I get these totally wrapped up, I'll put them on Retronauts.com, so you can look for them there. Crades Lair, also incomplete, and a portion of Brinstar that I drew in a way that you can't actually see it. <laughs> that's great. And then finally, the opening area of the game. Stay down. Okay, great. So, this was a pretty successful venture. I will, at some point, I don't know if I'll be able to do it this week, but soon go back and um, tackle the rest of Metal Gear for NES, a game that makes me very angry, but that is okay. So yes, I will definitely upload the entire map once I'm done. So thanks again for watching. This has been uh, Cartography Stream 4. There are many more Cartography streams to come because this is fun. And I promise that the camera work and the writing and the everything will just be better in the future. So please look forward to that. Uh, so that's it. Please go enjoy some Metroid today because the game is like 30 or 31 years old or whatever. It's great. Uh, have a good Sunday. I love you all. Farewell. Bye.